These baby chicks are about one day old. We have four brown ones and four white ones. Now, let me first say that I'm a complete advocate of population control. Mom was actually rescued but had snuck off and laid a clutch. And by the time I found it, I didn't really feel comfortable um, disposing of the chicks. So I made a personal decision to let her have the chicks. Uh, but they're so amazing. They're just so intriguing because already this young, they're learning to eat and drink and to find food that mom is pointing out to them. They're learning to, to scratch. Um, they communicate in a very unique way. They have particular sounds that they use for different things they're trying to communicate. And if mom thinks that there's danger around, she'll um, alert them and she'll uh, try to get them to a safe location. So they're just fascinating to watch at the bond that's taking place. Um, unfortunately, if these babies had been born to the egg laying industry, regardless if it's labeled cage free, free range, organic, or quote, humane, all of the males would be separated. Of course, they wouldn't get a chance to know their mother, but they would be separated and literally thrown in the garbage or ground alive at one day old. Over 200 million male baby chicks each year in the U.S. alone suffer this fate. Their beaks are seared off if they make it to um, through, through that process of culling which is also very painful because their beaks are full of nerve endings and that causes acute and chronic pain. Of course, if the babies were born in the meat industry, they would also suffer a terrible fate. Their bodies are bred to grow much too large and much too quickly, and they're slaughtered around about eight weeks of age. In nature, chickens can live 10 to 15 years, so they are mere babies when they're slaughtered in the meat industry. If you feel love and compassion and feel compelled to protect these babies when you see them, you already have love in your heart that contradicts the way that the industries treat them. And the good news is that we have a choice. We don't have to be a part of it. We don't need eggs to be healthy. We don't need animal meat to be healthy. In fact, plant-based diets can be more preventative of disease and provide all the nutrition that we need. So there are alternatives, and I would encourage you to do your own research to find out what modern animal agriculture looks like, the atrocities that take place, and um, do research about vegan living and a vegan lifestyle and the health benefits and the environmental benefits of a plant-based diet to see that it's really not that difficult um, to live a life of compassion and nonviolence and to choose to live vegan. Thanks for watching.